you, Congressman. Do you want to know why? Tell me. Because I trust ambition. <laughs> so this is a straight up bribe? Oh, no, Congressman. A bribe is something you can refuse. I'm sure we'll meet again, sir. And that is James Martinez going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kevin Spacey on the hit Netflix series, House of Cards. He plays Congressman Alex Romero in the new season. And James is here with us this morning. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I told you that I am a, I'm a super fan of the show. Yeah, I've seen all great. the seasons. I love that. But for folks who don't know or who have not seen House of Cards, tell us a little bit about it, James. Okay, where to begin? It's, it's been going on for a couple of years, yeah. but it, it's uh, more or less about uh, Francis Underwood, played by Kevin Spacey, um, and uh, it's a look into his journey mm -hmm. uh, on how he climbs the political ladder, and right. it gives you an inside look as to what goes uh, behind closed doors uh, in the White House and uh, and uh, the personal lives of, of these politicians and yeah. the sharks that uh, surround uh, these offices and, yeah. and the political game. It's very interesting. It's very intense, um, but it's it's super engaging. And um, Mr. Spacey is just phenomenal. And it was such a pleasure to work with him for sure. Yeah. What is it like to work with such an amazing cast? We have Kevin Spacey, Robin Wright. Yeah. Right? The I mean, caliber. The caliber oh, yeah, of this cast is just phenomenal. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of. Um, a lot of uh, I'm sure we'll meet again. a lot of cast yeah. members that I actually knew from New York, mm -hmm. um, just people from off Broadway, the theater mm -hmm. world. Um, so they, these people really know what they were doing. I mean, they have some serious chops. Um, right. And, and I was I was a little intimidated coming in, uh, but just to be a part of it, I, I felt super flattered. And and once uh, we broke the ice, it was very playful, yeah. uh, despite how intense the show can be. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge show. It was probably, Access. you know, the first really big marquee right. show for Netflix, up for tons for sure. of awards. When you got the news that you were going to be cast in this part, what went through your mind? Um, you know, some some jobs come along that are pretty special. Yeah. And this this one was definitely uh, one of them, especially with um, how heated uh, politics is is, right, is right now. at the moment, right now in, in real life. <laughs> right. Um, and especially being the first uh, Latino uh, principal mm. in the show, mm -hmm. that that felt like a, a very big responsibility for mm -hmm. me because. Um, to me, it, it was very personal. Mm -hmm. So when I approached the character, I I did connect to Alex in a very mm -hmm. personal way because he was very ambitious, mm -hmm. very very driven, and um, and I think he just represented really the modern day politician, which is he's not really concerned with right or left. He's just concerned with right or wrong. You right. know, he just really wants to make some positive changes, yeah. and he's just fed up, and he just wants to right or wrong. So he comes after. Francis Underwood very aggressively yeah. and thre threatens him and his administration. And things usually don't end up so well for those characters that get in President oh, Underwood's way. No, I mean, no, no. But that's what makes Alex very interesting. Uh -huh. is he's one of the few that can actually go toe to toe with him and, his own. And, and hold his own and challenge him. Um, so when he does feel threatened, the chess game that goes on between them is uh, is really fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's super engaging. I, I, I highly recommend it. And uh, if if you haven't watched it, definitely yeah. um, catch it from the beginning. I, I promise you, you, you'll be hooked for yeah, sure. Yeah, I can attest to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and real quickly, before we let you go, James, you're here in L.A. actually working on another project. Tell us about that real quickly. Uh, yes, uh, really quick. Well, uh, two, I'm doing uh, major crimes uh, at the moment for TNT, uh, recurring on that. And uh, I'm coming back to Netflix. Um, the first season of uh, One Day at a Time, which is a reboot of the old sitcom from the 80s, uh, in the 80s, it's, uh -huh. it's streaming right now, okay. uh, the first season, and uh, right now we're shooting the second season. Um, so it's Norman Lear, you know, the original producer yeah. from the 80s, is still involved awesome. uh, and amazing, and it's it's very exciting. It's and it's a very different, unique, uh, modern spin on a on a wonderful, a hilarious classic. sitcom. Yeah, absolutely. Thank so. you so much. So great to have you here, James. Keep I up the good work. Love being in LA. Thanks for having we me. We appreciate it. And yeah. again, you can see James as Congressman Alex Romero in the new season of House of Cards. It is streaming right now on Netflix, and we will be right back.